You know a movie is all right if it makes me want to read a book with like words and stuff. Ender's Game is a movie based on an Orson Scott Card sci-fi novel set in a future where mankind is training children as its best defense against an invading alien race. The story is a complex look at the philosophy and tactics of war seen through its brilliant young protagonist named Ender, who may just be the final hope for mankind. Asa Butterfield plays Ender with Harrison Ford as the recruiting commander who sees his genius in a story many have claimed was unfilmable since the book came out in the mid-80s. Turns out, they were wrong. Not only has director Gavin Hood filmed it, he's made a really good movie here. There's actually quite a bit I loved about Ender's Game. First off, it's absolutely stunning visually. Actually, it's quite possible I audibly gasped at how gorgeous some of these scenes were. In addition, it took very little effort to buy into these characters and relationships, due in part to a great performance from Asa Butterfield, who I've loved since the independent film Son of Rambo, but who you might know better as Hugo from the movie called uh, Hugo. Harrison Ford also thankfully returns to form after having quite a few misses under his belt recently. On another front, I also enjoyed so many of the beautiful themes and messages about war, conflict, and leadership that I'm sure the book is dripping with. But the best thing for me in this movie had to be the incredible detail in the tactical training and strategic thinking. Now, I'm a sucker for a well-realized universe, and the universe of Ender's Game just feels extremely full and well thought out. From the progressive training of the kids to the details of the war, I found myself enthralled and wanting to know more. Usually I get on movies for being too long, but in this case, I found myself wishing this had been about an hour longer. I just wanted more of this universe. And actually, that's probably the worst thing, book to movie syndrome. You can just tell that there is so much more that got left out of the movie. As impressive as the scenes that made the cut are, you can feel the absence of what's missing. It makes the story feel a bit jumpy and rushed at times. If you've read the books, then maybe it's easy for you to fill in those gaps. If not, the movie just feels like it happens too fast and can leave a, an aura of uneasiness. I also felt like the movie got a bit self-serious in some parts, but that's a minor detail. It was probably just the result of Harrison Ford constant facial growl. Overall, Ender's Game is a beautiful film with military philosophies and tactics that are thought-provoking and entertaining. It captures an incredibly compelling and complete science fiction universe, even if it feels a bit compact and rushed from the novel. I loved it enough to go with an A-. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. If you'd like to see more, several ways you can do that. You can go to yourmoviefriend.com on the web to search for uh, reviews by title. You can follow the YMF Facebook page to see other news and stuff I might find interesting. Also, I'd love to have you as a subscriber on YouTube so you can see the new reviews as soon as they're released. All you gotta do is hit that big gray subscribe button in the middle of your screen.